Let us solve the inequality 2x plus 1 by x minus 2 is greater than 1. So you need to solve this equation 2x plus 1 by x minus 2 is greater than 1. You see that uh, if we multiply by x minus 2 both left and right hand side then maybe we can do it. So let's multiply above equation by x minus 2. So we are multiplying above equation or rather above inequality by x minus 2 x minus 2 we multiply it to the left hand side but to maintain equality, inequality we should multiply to the right hand side as well. Now we see that if x is not equal to 2 definitely when x equal to 2 this quantity remains undefined we can cancel it out and we can write 2x plus 1 is greater than x minus 2. If 2x plus 1 is greater than x minus 2, let's variable to the left hand side. Let's put all the variable to the left hand side and all the constant to the right hand side, minus 2, minus 1. So we have x is greater than minus 3. However, let's take a number that is greater than minus 3. Obviously, we can take minus 2, minus 1, 0, 1, 2, 3 and so on. Let's try with my x equal to minus 2. When I write x equal to minus 2, 2x plus 1 by x minus 2 equal to 2 into minus 2 plus 1 by minus 2 minus 2. That's equal to minus 4 plus 1 is minus 3 by minus 4. That is 3 by 4. That is 0.75. But 0.75 is not greater than 1. You want 2x plus 1 by x minus 2 to be greater than 1. Wow. So we made a mistake. Our approach is not exactly correct. Why is it so? That's because we are multiplying by x minus 2 and if x minus 2 is negative then this inequality is not true. So this is valid only when x minus 2 is greater than 0. So now we look at our solution once again but with the added rest restriction that x minus 2 is greater than 0. Still we want 2x plus 1 by x minus 2 greater than 1. So we can multiply by x minus 2 and so x minus 2 gets cancelled. Remember we are multiplying by positive quantity so this inequality remains valid. So we are assuming initially that x minus 2 is greater than 0. That is we are assuming that so we have started with the assumption. We have started So we have started with the assumption x minus 2 is greater than 0 that is x greater than 2 and further we need to impose the restriction that x is greater than minus 3. So both should be true. So in this case if x is greater than 2 then you see that 2x plus 1 by x minus 2 is greater than 1. So let us consider case 2. So for the case x minus 2 greater than 0 we got the condition that x has to be greater than minus 3. So finally we conclude that x has to be greater than 2. What about the case x minus 2 is less than 0? That is x is less than 2. We take 2 minus 2 to the right hand side so we will get plus 2. What about this case? Again we multiplying the given inequality by x minus 2 we obtain so we are multiplying the given inequality by x minus 2. We are multiplying the given inequality by x minus 2. You see that x minus 2 is a negative number now. But when we multiply by a negative number, inequality must reverse. That's the mistake that we have made. So we can cancel x minus 2 out now from numerator and denominator and then we have 2x plus 1 is less than x minus 2. Once again variable to left hand side, number to right hand side. 2x minus x is x, minus 2 minus 1 is minus 3. So we must have in this case that x is less than 2 as well as x is less than minus 3. So in this case we observe that x has to be less than 2 and x has to be less than minus 3. We conclude that x has to be less than minus 3 because both of these inequalities should be true. Let's combine what we have obtained in case 1 and a case 2. Therefore by case 1 
by case 1 and case 2 we can conclude finally that either x has to be less than minus 3 or x has to be greater than 2. Can we write it in the form of interval? Of course, that is x belong to minus 3, less than minus 3, so minus infinity up to minus 3, but minus 3 excluded union from 2 to any bigger number, 2 to infinity, again 2 excluded. So x is a real number. Uh, either less than minus 3 or greater than 2.